Okay, assalamualaikum, man. Uh, very good uh, afternoon. Okay, so today I will be continue explaining the two subtopics in nucleic acid. Okay, so five, no, uh, four point five point four. Okay, justify the importance of nucleic acid in cell. Okay, as we all know, so the function for nucleic acid is uh, in the formation of DNA okay nucleic acid is the made from nucleotides and nucleotide is the main building block for DNA so DNA so we can relate with the function of the DNA itself so DNA is the important okay to determine the characteristic of living things okay so DNA is like a blueprint Okay, that has uh, codes, okay, in order to determine what is the characteristic of the living organism, okay, whether it will be uh, having uh, what kind of eye color, okay, the skin tone and also the hair color, okay, for human and also for animals, okay, for example, like uh, cats, okay. So we have different color of cats and different kind of fur. So the DNA itself can also help us to understand. Okay, what is the next generation uh, going to be? Okay, and how are they going to look like? Okay, and also, so how is the DNA is going to determine the characteristic of the living thing is by uh, producing a protein okay so the dna has a course okay as you can see they has a, a dna has the four nitrogenous base okay a t c g and its uh basis is uh can be transcripted okay as you can see here so the dna so the Four bases of DNA can be transcripted into RNA, okay, mRNA, okay, messenger RNA, and each messenger RNA has the code that can be translated for a different amino acid, okay, and this amino acid will be arranged in a sequence okay to form a polypeptide okay which is protein and this protein is used to determine what is the characteristic of the living things okay so you can see that the na is like the macam dengan arahan okay arahan yang ada code dan Code tu dia akan ditukar kepada RNA dan RNA dia akan translate code tu kepada uh, amino acid, okay? DNA dia akan transcription, nama proses tu transcription dia akan tukar kepada RNA, so RNA akan tukar kepada uh, amino acid yang kalau uh, hijau, kuning, and biru, this is the type of amino acid there are many types of amino acid okay and each sequence of amino acid will form different polypeptides okay so for example so here we have a uh, methionine arginine and tyrosine okay okay so next uh, so here okay dna will be transcribed into RNA, RNA will be translated into protein. Okay, this is like a gene general view of how a protein can be formed from DNA. Okay. Okay, next subtopic 4.5.5. Describe the formation of chromosome from DNA and protein. Okay. So the thing that you see under microscope is called chromosome. Usually chromosome can be seen okay using a light microscope I guess because it is quite big for our 
light microscope to observe. Okay, but DNA is really hard. Okay, so as you can see here from the picture, okay, so this is the gene. Okay, a small part of DNA is called gene, and then many kind of gene, many types of gene will be uh, intertwined. Okay, to form a DNA here. Okay, and and DNA will be wrapped. Okay, like I said here, point number one, DNA polynucleotide chains will be wrapped around proteins called histone. Okay, histone is not a genetic material. Okay, does not contain any genetic material. So basically, histone is like a, dia macam dengan satu benda supaya DNA tu dapat mengukuhkan DNA tu. Dia macam dengan macam dengan kita ada benang kan? Kan bila kita ada benang yang panjang, kita tak boleh biarkan benang tu macam tergantung macam tu. So, kita kena lilit dia dengan satu kayu ataupun satu benda supaya benang tu dia tak terlalu uh, longgar. Supaya benang tu kukuh kan. Sama juga macam DNA. Sebabkan DNA tu satu uh, double helix yang strand yang panjang. Jadi, dia dia nak masuk ke dalam nukleus, dia jadi macam dengan takut uh, berpecah. So, dia per, DNA perlukan histone untuk wrap around untuk dia dia perpusing untuk dia melilitkan diri supaya uh, jadi lebih kukuh supaya DNA itu tak gagal-gagal lah ok dan bila DNA pulih nucleotide chain dia wrap around protein yang dipanggil sebagai histone maksud dia akan menghasilkan nucleosomes ok nucleosomes and this uh, bukan nucleosomes nucleosomes ok nucleosomes sorry nucleosomes And this nucleosome will be intertwined together, okay, to form kromosom yang kamu tengok ni lah, okay. Kromosom ni pun akan disimpan di dalam nukleus. Okay, kalau tak soalan boleh faham. Okay, this is the overview picture, okay, how the DNA from DNA Okay, this red protein is called histone, okay. Kamu tengok bola-bola yang macam merah ni, this is kita panggil histone. Okay, dan DNA ni akan wrap around histone, okay, to form nucleosome. So, satu ni kita panggil sebagai nucleosome. Dan banyak-banyak-banyak-banyak nucleosome, okay, dia akan lagi melilit-lilit-lilit-lilit-lilit dan dia akan hasilkan, dia akan coil together dan akan hasilkan kromosom. Dan kromosom ni kita boleh nampak lah dalam uh, mikroskop ya, okay. Okay, I think that's all for today. Okay, if you have any question, please ask me. Okay, thank you so much.